let's say at the at the least, I think that there's a manner in which understanding this, or at least a notion of, of intelligence and agency, can can help us understand that the way the way of representing the world that is more traditional is in line with this. That is that the ancient way of representing the world with yeah. with with gods and patron saints and patron age angels. There's a manner in which this is closer to that reality than the yeah. one that we have now, which is this kind of the the, the sense in which we we don't even have a, a, a theory. Like we do it, right? We still celebrate teams. We still have mascots. We yeah. still have all these things. And we rely we on this. But we don't right? understand. It's not, it's as if it's not part of our worldview, but we still do it at the same time. Yes. Um, I, I want to acknowledge that right up. There's a performative contradiction um, in thinking that agency is atomic and individualistic, uh, right? And then relying on, uh, you know, airlines and uh, electric grids and the internet and blah, 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 blah that are clearly cases of distributed cognition and collective intelligence. But what's interesting, of course, with something like the internet is it's this weird blend of humans and computers that is making it and creating it and running it. And it obviously transcends any computer, it transcends any individual brain, and it just keeps growing and developing and, and, and taking on properties and a kind of complexity. There's a, I think so Sawyer wrote a, a, a science fiction novel that, it, that you know, that, that it's plausible that the internet will actually achieve the kind of complexity and density and bandwidth we see in a brain, and then it would start to have a kind of consciousness on its own, which is a frightening thought. Um, I think it definitely already has agency, at, at least. I, I think that's clear, I think that's clear. And like I said, when we were talking last time, in very many ways, people have a, a sacred religious relationship uh, to the agency of the internet. They treat it like an oracle. They treat it like a spirit. They treat it like a god um, in, in a lot. In, 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 like, I find it funny, but in a sort of Kafkaesque way, that people <laughs> who claim to not be religious then interact with the internet through their phones. In, they devote hours of day, right? And they're paying attention and they're getting advice. And like, and, and like the, it's very, very religious behavior. Um, yeah. Yes. And so one of the aspects of the agency, for example, I think is a good way to understand it. Maybe you can tell me what you think is, is really even now using a kind of Darwinian uh, lens, which is that, let's say the main, the main aspect of agency is something like uh, self-preservation at the level of the being. And so we, we can say that the internet has intelligence to the, even to the extent, and agency, even to the extent that it just yeah. tries to self-perpetuate. And and the people that are playing roles at the lower levels, the companies, the, the, you know, the tech people, you know, they want to cap, they know that the internet exists through attention. And so the entire, the entire, the internet itself becomes, a, a, let's say, run by attention. And that, and, and that attention is what makes it continue to exist. The, like the more attention that more people give to, to, to the internet in general, the more that it will especially in its user interface. Obviously there's a whole aspect of the internet, which is not user, yeah, not user interface, like wires and, and stuff yeah. like that. But to the extent where it interacts with our consciousness, that's what makes it continue. And so it's as if there's a, but the reason why I'm saying that is that there's a sense in which we're kind of doomed if that's the case, because the, the, the monster or the, the, the creature, the being, it really is asking for worship. Like, Yes. It appears very low at, at a low level, but as it scales up, it becomes more and more evident that it's asking for something like worship, um, something like yeah, primal the, the, attention. Yeah, the, like yeah. this is where you get your worldview. This is where you get your yes. information. This is where you get truth. This is where you learn what it means to be human, even almost. Yes, yes, I, I agree with you. I, I think that... Um, the internet is at least something like a Greek god <laughs> in the way it, uh, uh, you know, in, encompasses the like, like it, it's not, it's not again, it's not in one place. It's ubiquitous. I'm not saying it's omnipresent, but it's ubiquitous, right? It's ubiquitous, and it's uh, it, it, it's coordinating people's lives. It's training people's attention. It's asking for devotion. It's asking for identification. You identify with your avatars. 
and you're right. There's yes, there, there's a lot of behavior that it, like it, as soon as you step outside of familiarity and try to look at it uh, through a more anthropological lens, you'll say, well, this, they, they clearly have a religion and their, their religion is the internet. But the, 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 I guess the difference for me is, um, and that's why I use the Greek God uh, purposely. Uh, you know, the Greek gods, are, are, had, uh, they, they had no moral, they had no moral direction. The, the yeah. Greek gods yeah. just represent sort of primordial powers and they're important. Later on, under the pressure of Platonism and others, they started to become moral agents, but initially they're not. Um, and so I guess I, uh, that's what I, I, I was trying to convey when I think the internet is like a Bronze Age deity, right? It's, an, it, right? It, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's like Seth of ancient Egypt or something. It's this, it's this power um, that people identify in and with and does all the things we're talking about, but it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have a moral directedness to it. It's not an it's not an agent that is self organized towards helping us uh, become wiser, um, which I think is it, it, that's an important difference. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it is like you said. It's it's more. It's looking for propitiation, and it's and it's looking to be satisfied. It's looking for to capture to capture us so that we could, because we can sit constitute its body in a certain, in a certain way, like in the same way that if you understand a, the way a Greek God would function is that they, yeah. the Greek God would have temples with people sacrificing animals to the God in order to provide body for that yeah. God in the world, like places where they, they, they step, let's say, and they, yeah. they have anchorage. And so we are, that's what we are for the internet. We're basically the anchor because without us, the internet obviously doesn't, the internet needs us as a body, but I think also the Greek gods and the ancient gods needed humans as a kind sure. of body, you know, sure. as a, as, in order to celebrate them and to make them to have, let's say that their will be done in the world. You needed humans and casts of priests and all these things that would enact the, the enact the, the identity of the God in, in reality. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, speaking as a naturalist, I think that was the reality of, and it still is. I'm not saying I believe in Zeus or, but you know, uh, there's a sense in which Ares is 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 taking shape in, in Ukraine right now, right? And, and and you know, and war is this thing, right? It's maybe the it, pathetically maybe it's the most collective thing we do, um, which and so thinking that war can't take on a life of its own. Uh, look, look, we are terrified not unjustified that if we do anything wrong, this will spin off yeah. into, and escalate, right? And who, well, no one person is going to make that happen. And that ability for things to spin off and consume us, that's Aries. That's the Greek god Aries or Eros. Eros, like if you don't believe that Eros is real, like, you, wow, I don't know what, like, I don't know what that means. Um, so yeah, and, and I think the internet is like that. So 